voting in the European elections is underway, as we've been saying this morning, both in the Netherlands and in the UK. The Netherlands was the first to go to the polls uh, at 7.30 a.m. local time. Uh, the two nations are the first to vote in staggered polls between now and uh, Sunday. Well, let's head straight over to Amsterdam and to Jack Parrock, uh, who's there for us this morning. Hi there, Jack. Uh, voting has been underway now for, for a couple of hours. Has it been busy? There's been a steady stream of people here at the Albert Kuyp Boxing Gym here in Amsterdam where people are turning out to co cast their ballots for those that they want to sit in the European Parliament representing them for the next five-year term. Now, there's about 13.5 million eligible voters here in the Netherlands and a couple of them I spoke to just, outside, just here at the, at the gym. Seven, I have voted every time I was allowed to vote and I think it's pretty important. Um, I hope a lot of people are going to vote because that's a kind of a, a bit of a problem. I think in every state is a problem and in the Netherlands is a problem as well. So I really hope people are going to vote. Most of our income comes from trade. You need uh, a bigger uh, unity to be part of, to have laws, to have labor agreements and things like our safety, migration. You, you, you can't do it all on your own. And that issue that Laura picked up there, what she was saying about low voter turnout, actually in the Netherlands, between the last two elections in 2009 and 2014, it bucked the EU trend. There was a slight increase in voter turnout between those two, but it was still just over 37%. There's a lot of political turmoil, some fresh parties, some new blood in the political atmosphere here in the Netherlands. So that might bring people out. We'll have to wait and see whether they hit the numbers that they want to. There's been a minister resign earlier this week from the from the Dutch government that might play a role all eyes will be on what happens when the votes come out on Sunday all right thank you very much Jack at Parrot there in Amsterdam uh, well the other country that started uh, voting this morning is of course Britain let's head over to Belfast in Northern Ireland journalist Ken Murray is there for us this morning hi there Ken uh, the polls uh, have been open for, for more than an hour now uh, have there been many people going in Good morning, Val. I have to say that uh, the amount of people drifting in to St. Kevin's Primary School voting centre here on the Falls Road in Belfast has been rather slow. There is a, a tendency here to go to work during the day and on the way home pop in and cast your vote. So, so far, a very small turnout. I should add, by the way, that 11 candidates, including four party leaders, are contesting three of the European Parliament seats here in Northern Ireland. And traditionally, since 1990, 1979, when European elections began, the breakdown has been quite, well, quite similar every time, namely that two of the seats would go to pro-British unionist parties, with the third seat going to a pro-Irish party, either the SDLP or has been the case in recent years uh, to Sinn Féin. Latina Anderson of Sinn Féin topped the poll the last time round in 2014 with 25% of the first preference votes. The electorate here, by the way, is just over 1.2 million and they're hoping to get a turnout of around 50% or so. We had local elections here three weeks ago, so it'll be interesting to see if there's any, if you like, voter fatigue, if that will determine the numbers. The votes will be cast today. The polls close at 10 o'clock tonight. And here in Northern Ireland, counting of the votes gets underway on Monday with the declaration of the seats on Tuesday afternoon or perhaps Tuesday evening. So uh, a busy six days ahead here in Belfast in Northern Ireland. Bell?